Doctor, tena se dada. Doctor, machi ya udada. Ena dia ube kachi. Ah, ana Henry meboa. Ena ube kachi. Na Congress na kwa say. Oh, when you say yeah, we Congress no. Yeah, na Central Region. Yeah, kama kama. When you say yeah, yeah, work. Yeah, adi amensa in the region no. On the ninth no of March, mm -hmm. the first idea that you they walk. Okay, I mean when we walk on. Yeah, yeah. When we video, see people are man a young fan to ice cream also. Uh huh. So walk now you start it around eight thirty in the morning. Mm. Could do eleven thirty to twelve from Ababu Post Office. Okay. Walk is uh so quite no not because nipa no doors no. I just say young ko alabani bibia but. So we decided that young who quite a bit of so that traffic no because police no more doors, no more say, Oh, I got a patch on you better fuck quite no open and I am young. We walk so yeah, almost divert me say, Oh, it's okay, it's okay, okay. it's not a problem because mm. if we are going to distract business activities, I mean, Pesa, so you yeah, divert to quino mm. now, even quino, you divert to cry, Nayama, so still Nayama. So, yeah, we and I call it Congress. No, so yeah, yeah, Congress. No, I was um, acclaimed presidential candidate for mm. the 2024 election. Is it that one BM so be my contest? One, I David, David, I only say APC, we are liberal party. Now, you be quite my nipper, but the point here is that party, I believe, is say mm. at this moment of the crisis we are facing in Ghana. No, there's no leader like Hassan Erga. Okay. When it comes to credibility, and you put John Mahama, you put Baumia, because Cecilia Omona, we are two uh, candidates. I said, I'm not doing Kahone, but I did your camera. So, Omumi, you know, and then you put Hassan Erga, you will see that Hassan Erga is more credible mm. in terms of leadership okay. than the two of them. Yeah, my children so also. The, uh -huh, so, almost say, David, David, why would they? This year, they are Erga, they so. We are contesting. We are contesting. And who say, who get a party? Now who party? Now by a contest. Now everybody say you are the right candidate. Mm. What it means is that the party, ma, we believe in your leadership. We must say who now we are best. Mm. But who are MPP? Even though Bamia is vice president, why who never know no more contest? No, we do so. <laughs> but also, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, a friend say, a sign say, on you're the best among them. Oh, yes. Oh, company, but I do want to contest say, yeah, nah. It means Baumia is not the best. Because you are vice president. You so are you not, were expecting all of us. Exactly. You're not an, ex, an extra, you're not an ordinary party member. Okay. So that we see, say, you have never ruled before. You have mm -hmm. never been part of leadership. You've been part of the leadership or party leadership. We are vice president of the Republic of Ghana. So if people are contesting you as a vice president, that means you have credibility issue. Oh, but a uh, doc, Okasa, uh, Baumia Miyati has said he's just a mate. So Okasa is part of the government and he has a. We are mate. We are mate. We are mate. We are mate. So Nepal from outside no more, we are mate. We say we are the because me and Jumana if you become a mate, what are you going to do? If you become a driver, what are you going to do? And mm -hmm. the fact that Bamiya say a hey, mate, you know, for me, a hey, betrayal. Oh! It's the biggest betrayal in the history of He has betrayed Nanado or the yes, MPP? Yes, he, he, he has betrayed Nanado and betrayed the MPP. On him say, mm. 2016 after the elections, ma, before the elections and even after the elections, Bamiya of former economic management team. Yeah. Now I'll say, this is the best economic management team to, to manage Ghana. Mm. 
or say or suffer, ma'am, for or say a coat to or friendly paninia. No, I say, what a solid team. What ye? So, what happened to the solid team? And the solid team has brought us to IMF mm. a debt stock of 610 billion Ghana mm. cities. Prices of goods and services in the market are outrageous. A solid team where inflation is high. Mm. Cost of doing business in Ghana has become the worst in the history. The Ghana city has depreciated now to 13 cities to one dollar. That is the solid team. Dumso Aba, that is the solid team. Insum Niho, that is the solid team. School feeding programs are accept our children in school cannot even get three square meals in 21st century. That is the solid team. That you go to the hospital, there are no medication. Government hospitals have become death trap. Mm. That is the solid team. So, And today, we are meat. We are solid team. Now we are meat. So, it's a betrayal to the MPP, to the President Akufado, and to Ghanaians. He's lying to Ghanaians. Oh, boy. Baumia is lying. Yes, he's lying to Ghanaians. He's asking for just another opportunity to fail. But he's failed already. Hey, doctor. I said, my okay. Baumia is asking for another mm. opportunity to, to fail. fail. Yes. Why fail it at that? No, wow. say, repeat me to fail again. Who will repeat a, a failure? Who fail it? No, say, I'm going to repeat you now to fail it again. But the indications are there. Oh, but see, mm. my government has messed up. Mm -hmm. And me, I am not part of the mess. I don't know what I say. If you don't need a scientist to understand, a rocket scientist to understand his language. I don't know what I say. You are failing. Mm. Government not failing. But, oh, mommy, me, me, not me, you drive me. I hear me, I'm a driver car. No. My boss, I'm a driver car. No. So, mm. car no, I hear me. I me. But, mommy, why? I'm a coach. 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 See me boss no. Mm. So in a normal sense no, it's an indication that Omo fail it. What he? They have failed mm. and he's not part of the failure. He's trying okay. to exonerate himself from okay, the failure. For the failure. Then President Akufado called State of the Nation. Mm. I saw you. Yes, You're I was close to JM. Yes, I was sitting closer to JM. Yeah. No, see. Ah Ghana is down. Listen. Mm. Ghana is down. Blame me for the crisis we are in in Ghana. Mm -hmm. But Ghana will rise again. Then I will pay what Casa say we are It's a simple thing. <laughs> but we were listening. We don't analyzing it. Okay. Yeah, 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 but we are, we are not. So you, you are saying that Nanado was trying to portray <laughs> Baumia to be the one no, who, who rise, rise again, Ghana again. again. He said, By Ghana, now, Ghana is down. Yeah, Ghana is down. <laughs> and funny enough, I was watching the speaker. Mm. Oji microphone. Oka said the same thing. Or say, Ghana is down. Mm. But it will rise again. again. Then I open on him say, Omo Feli. You don't need the rocket science to tell you that mm. these people are telling us that they, they have feel. messed up the economy. Wow. Yeah. So, practically, you and I, if we pick your microphone, and go out there to the Ghanaian people, the first three, five, ten people, and ask them, what is the economic situation of Ghana today? Or more say, and yet. More say, Ghana, they see here, and yet. Mm. Mm. Make time with the old microphone. For microphone, no call airport. Ghana airport, no call tenancy, one hour. Ube who number of Ghanaians struggling to leave Ghana? Omo call abroachery. And it's not just ordinary people, nurses, mm. doctors, bankers, engineers. Because Ghana day and year year. But why not yes, sir? It's a fact. The fact is that Uma leadership to a party for eight years. Mm. Not eight years now. All the indicators indicators is mm. showing negative sign. Negative sign. Mm. You don't need that government even to continue four years, not to talk of eight years. 
The first four years was enough for uh, Ghanaians to stop the MPP from moving to the next. But so, so you 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 are saying say we 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 yeah yeah the service to ourselves by voting NPP again in 2020. But that is what we've been doing. When we ask for change, you say and change here. We don't change. We think that change is from NPP to NDC, NDC. or from NDC back to NPP. That's not change. That's a recycling. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah, recycling. Mm. Eight years NDC back, we say okay, the phone, we say phone and yet. Now say phone I say, for phone to so. Now koto Samsung. We say Samsung and yet. Now for to so. Now kofa the back one. We say and yet again. Now see and yet. Now come back again. Why, uh, why? Who is the one? Mm. <laughs> yes, the one that will cause a problem. Why not cause a problem? You get the parties. You get the leadership. You get the political parties. Make change. Change is a key to new life. Okay. okay. Change is a key to new life. If I change from this building, if on, on your FM wants to change their building today, they are not going to change the building and go to a bad building. Mm. Because they are changing to go to a better one, to yeah. upgrade that one. But if they say, oh, we move from this office, we go to the next office, we move back from this office, oh boy, we're not changing anybody. Mm. So we in the APC mm. and other political parties, you see, it is time. Omuwe, Omu Segana, 21st century, who now works on Insum is here. is a big problem. 21st century, do so about. Make it maybe what Trasaco for the past three months. You need to a CCN and Sum never. Money is you, money is you. Trasaco and you're an ordinary. It's Legon, it's Legon Trasaco. Money is you. Oko is Legon. Over who say tankers, tankers, yeah, 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 water tankers. Omo dorsal, Omo by every minute. Cecil, Omo, 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 Sikapa. That area, all that area is you know. But if in 21st century mm. a nation like Ghana is struggling to get water the basis, what then have we achieved? Wow. If 21st mm. century the nation is struggling to maintain energy power, then uh, yeah. if 21st century we cannot feed our children, a nation that cannot feed its children in the mm. 21st century, we are failing. In the 21st century, a nation that cannot house its citizens, the housing deficit is over t- 2 point something million. Mm. We cannot house them. We have failed. In the 21st century, we cannot educate our children. We have failed. Mm. In the 21st century, we cannot provide jobs to the students who are coming out of school, that we are training them to become the future leaders. They have now become gamblers. Omo ye gambling, omo ye lutu. Because there's no future. Omo ni adena mo. So, se si ya, wa hu si students ni, omo be play. Omo be play. Omo be play. Ye trainee, en kwa da wo school mo to become gamblers. Yes. Instead of becoming doctors and engineers. Instead of becoming doctors and engineers. So, now they are becoming gamblers. Because omo fa mo sika. Se si ya, kwa school ni, omo ni ni ya, omo ye betting. Bed bureau. So see, a bed bureau is in every every TV is now advertising bed bureaus than even any other social activities. Mm. So today, it's betting bad. Betting very bad. It's betting yeah bad. Ah uh-uh. ah, madam. Mm. I'm robbery yeah bad. Mm. It's bad. Mm. Betting is a it's a it's a. Uh, let me put it this way. Betting is worse than arm robbery. Why? Good. It's an addiction. A very bad and serious addiction. Okay. Today, those who were poor, no more yet betting. Mm. Those who were very poor were doing betting. Mm. When they get two cities, they go and bet to get five cities. Now, even doctors and engineers and those who are rich have joined the race and have stopped working. It's the easy way for them to think that, look, I don't need to work. I don't give a damn about that. Let's go and bet. Because when a nation gears towards betting, the society will fail. One day. A nation gears towards betting, betting. its society will fail. Okay. So. What you are the enemy, The saying. society will fail because the, so, the, the human resource have now left jobs 
training to become skilled trained uh, 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 tra uh, training they've left to become doctors they've stopped mm -hmm. they've stopped to school the the easiest way now everybody who is even a doctor who wants to go to work mm -hmm. one who say or call office but who say be brave any pass to see her even nurses and doctors or mukita phone or me you feel feel over who mo check or mo phone and your whatsapp number check on your information number mo check who see or mo mo win better hmm so the society is failing gradually the economy is running into tatters very gradually the human resource is gradually becoming dependent on betting gambling lotto mm. and we are promoting it as citizens we say, oh me me my call my winnie and we are going to lose the society of nurses doctors engineers professors that are supposed to build this country i cannot allow my son as a presidential candidate to mm. go and bet or my daughter to go and bet i won't do that and this addiction make me a friend be mm. oh yeah uh, okay the feeling station you took one now you call uh congress now yeah. before your ban one of his boy took over 60,000 Ghana cities to go and bet and lost the money. The wow. sales. Another woman, she sells cement. She left her boy with money. By the time she came, got back, of but some are winning. And those who are winning, you see, betting is raw Peter to pay Paul. Yeah. I do there now. Remember G. And good to you, if yeah. you want to know the, the, the worst of it, a way interview way google now we we'll say leaders in the world sportsmen um mm. celebrities businessmen chinese tycoons all those who have lost money and now have come to zero level from the top to zero is uh, betting what do you call who Uber who see football be no kita sika pa now his name was up today he's on the street begging and you're betting Uber who doctor pa to see a cra his brain is no more functioning for that you didn't hear you but who lot of forecasters yeah only me oh my name Uber who say teacher pa eh or katina secures no you're a little focus or kita papers be pre by the time we were we know asset. No, no, I didn't say. Asset. Because, okay, 34, 45, 50, 75. So, 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 doctor, are you trying to tell me, say, say, you're two Obama or your president, sir? Obe, abolish it, Burton. I will not make Burton a productive and interesting venture for anybody. What about lottery? Lottery it's the same thing. Lottery and betting is the same. Oh, is NLA is government. Uh, yes, what is government? Even the is constitution of Ghana forbids us to do betting. <laughs> but we are doing it. The constitution of Ghana, go and read. It does not allow yeah, so, betting. So what I'm trying to know from you, and they say, I want to ban it. Of course. You ban it. Of course. You ban betting and lottery. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. So we, you see, so the, problem, the, problem, sector. the problem is that it's because we have not given them an option. To become better okay that is why they've gone into betting not because they want to bet okay because government has failed to carry along its citizens and mm. give them jobs and okay. opportunity to become what they want to become mm -hmm. so there are no jobs students have come from school they don't have job the graduates come they don't have job their fathers don't have job their mothers so practically anybody who brings luto it becomes a job so my government mm -hmm. will not even give you the slightest opportunity to go and do betting there are better things that I'll make you do than becoming a, uh, a little well forecaster. Uh, so, 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 a from Anadu to, to tax betting. Yes, he has turned his country into betting. He has done what? He has turned Ghana into a betting country. What's well, Ghana? Uh -huh. MPP, what's we'll Ghana? And they're happy. They are even giving them 10% taking That's taxes. That's why maybe so say, President said the tax are cut to betting. So, they are, I don't know, say, a, 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 the president of the land is taxing betting. Yes, because he doesn't know what to how to manage Ghana. On him, on him he, because on him are on taxing betting. He would abolish it. 
He would rather promote certain mm. activities against betting, job creation, opportunity, mm. our students to become the best in the world, give them the challenging mm. environment, create an environment for them to become something else. Scientists, mm. IT, specialists in a lot of things. But when there is no root, when there is no root, everybody pass anywhere he wants. You create the route for yourself. When there's no way for water to flow, water will take will pass anywhere. So that's how Ghana looks. That's like. how Ghana is. Now Ghana there's not everybody who will say ah, we are not we don't know where we are going. How will we know where we get mm. there? Mm. <laughs> if you don't know <laughs> where you are going. <laughs> Okay. Yes. So everybody is creating a way for himself. Thank you. And we don't know where we are going. We don't know where we are going. So we never know when we get there. What here? Mm. So how will you know when you get there? This is the country we have as a nation. And our leaders keep lying. Wow. And we we the citizens, we are the problem. Because can baby say. Ghanians are yeah, yeah, addicted to these two political parties. And then the we would say are addicted to them. But we say the reason why we are addicted to them is because they have turned Ghana to a business center. They have turned Ghana, Ghana to, to a business, a business center. yes. When businessmen mm -hmm. take over your nation, they are going to make profit. Listen, girl. Yes. When businessmen take over your nation, they are going to make profit. Mm. So businessmen gather themselves mm -hmm. some group call themselves the ndc mm -hmm. sponsor the ndc to win and then they'll go and make profit another group also gather themselves put themselves in another party called the mpp so sponsor the mpp with huge sums of money everything look at the elections nowadays yeah very look at what ha what is happening those days when my dad was an mp mm. <laughs> they were giving us the citizens were bringing food to our home they were bringing all sort of things to thank my father for being a good uh, mp mm. in those days today it is the opposite we are following them to go and beg for food no we are following them to give them <laughs> so that they can vote for us <laughs> oh okay i've heard about your dynamics and i say yes citizens you know yes and the idea you are chasing leaders yes because they were happy with the leadership okay they were you see the farm yeah uh, yield where now you come on oh my guitar combined harvesters tractors so leaders you know what you see but i had to say i'm on yes how can you bribe somebody who's giving you work okay wow somebody you want somebody to give you work and you bribe the person to give you the work <laughs> what is one thing now? Uh, so Nana do I as a president uh, we are so so disappointed. Oh my god. That you least expected him to do. Oh my god. Oh the <laughs> if I look if I look at the economic situation mm. of Ghana, Nana Dogo has a person, my friend Nana Kufado. Mm was touted in those days in 2016, 2008, 2008 2012. 2012, has one of the best presidents to be. One of the best. Everybody believed in him, mm. his charisma, his experience, yeah. his age, his demeanor, okay, mm. his way of fighting for the country Ghana. So people had so so much hope and confidence mm. in Akufado than any other president we have known. Wow. Because Omu um, say we this man It's a no nonsense man. It's a no nonsense. This man will change the Ghana we want and make the Ghana we want. He will transform Ghana. He will create jobs. He will create opportunities. Today that opportunity has been given to him and he has become the worst president ever in the history of Ghana. So tell me, how do you want me to assess this man? You can't even assess him. Thank you. Wow. Wow. You can't even ask Pre because I you see the expectation. Now you cannot even assess him. There is nothing to the only part of Nana Akufuadu I can say good work done is maybe the police department, the institution. Where Dampare has transformed the police department, mm. changed the police look 
make people now respect the police the police mm. respect the law themselves mm. not all of them but many of them now respect yeah. the law that they is govern them so those things that people used to do now the sanity mm. in the country when you are misbehaving you know that the police will stop you yeah. and tell you that look the camera is watching you i'm not ready to to to, to compromise anything so let's go to the police station let's go to the unit this is the kind of leadership mm. we should be seeing in every institution that we are scared of the law and abide by the law and know that the law is supreme than any other person but a covert situation i don't think that there is other ins- other institutions because all the other institutions are now corrupt wahoo mm. too corrupt to the extent that they can't pay workers if you have an institution that cannot pay workers and you have to borrow and pay workers for eight years, why do you keep that institution? It's either there is corruption, mm. mismanagement, wastage, or somebody is doing something wrong. And you can keep that person for eight years. But Akufado kept all his ministers for seven plus years. Why do you think he did that? Mm. So, wow. so if you sit down, and you see that kind of leadership, man. You don't expect Ghana to grow. When you see Nanado's leadership, you know, just here, everybody will buffoon. Everybody buffoon. Everybody's angry. Everybody, Ghana is lost. Ghana, Ghana is lost. We lost country. So, oh, hello, I just Oh, yeah. People don't smile anymore. Mm. People don't laugh anymore. Mm. People don't. Go to parties. The only parties you see is those in power. But wahoo! Mm. People are asking for airtime. Five Ghana cities. Can yeah. you send me airtime? Twenty cities. Can you? Yesterday I was watching a program and somebody was asking his boyfriend to send him five Ghana cities, and that was a big fight. <laughs> 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 Ghana pa. Ghana pa. Five cities airtime, and it's a fight between them. So we have to change. Mm. At the CNC system. And APC is here. Hassan Ayurga is here. And I am going to look. And funny enough, only I'm saying, mm. what is the policy? What is the campaign message for the MPP? But we always start shouting digitalization, digitalization. Akwara we. Ha, digitalization. Digitalization pa is a policy. It's not a policy, eh? We then everybody should be voting. How can you reduce Ghana? Ghana to digitalization and you are shouting everywhere digitalization. Look. Ghana is already moving from analog to it started moving from analog to digital long before you before. So if you don't have anything to say, the media too, you people had a problem. Many of you. Yeah, yeah, they. You promote them all the time. Really? Yes. You sell them all the time. Then another one comes to say 24-hour economy. And it's also another ju- uh, hooray. These policies cannot turn Ghana. Ghana's, where Ghana is today, mm-hmm. the crisis we face in this country Digitalization is under my policy called e-governance. Mm. Twenty-four hour economy and production is under my country, my policy in twenty twenty. But the point is that digitalization and e-governance is just minute of a policy that can change this country. Mm. But what do we do as media men? We are shouting, "Hey, twenty-four hour, twenty-four hour!" Mm. We are shouting digitalization. These policies cannot change the country you don't start building you don't start r- building the house from the rooftop okay Would you? you don't start building a house from oh, the rooftop no. you start from foundation and this is what apc is talking about we are talking about policies over 60. Baku, okay. baku, 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 60. 60. maybe starting one after the other no who say mm. i am sitting down here as the Messiah and Savior of Ghana. Okay. And the man who has the blueprint and the policies to change our country, Ghana. Mm. And the ones who listen to me. And uh, my first policy, okay. Ghanaian first. The Ghanaian first. The Ghanaian first. 
why we say in this country Ghanaians are seen as the last option in their own country when Ghanaian goes looking for a job anywhere a white man is considered yeah. a foreigner is considered is give even banking in the at the banking sector when they want loan mm. a foreigner is considered when they go to jobs looking a foreigner is considered this country we are here dear we don't have another country so whatever we have to do we have to change first the mentality coming Ghanaian first and our attitude mm. you change your attitude not your mentality to believe in ourselves as citizens of this country and belong to that we come first before any other, any person. other person we cannot change Ghana okay down so we don't trust in each other mm. we don't believe in each other we don't work together our mentality is a problem too the second we have to change our mentality and attitude our mentality towards work our mentality towards building our nation mm -hmm. our mentality doing the right thing our mentality in believing in the leadership that we all must build this Ghana and there's no Ghana anywhere this area number two number three I am going to implement a national data system okay National data system, no, a central database that will capture every information of every Ghanaian living in Ghana and outside Ghana. How is it different from the Ghana uh, Ghana card? In Ghana card is also capturing Ghana card. It has no external data system that can synchronize into a BNI office, the police department, national security, mm. police uh, uh, healthcare. So the system is such that it's going to build a robust system that has central information and data of every Ghanaian. That's for you, for instance, mm. will capture where you work, your telephone number, mm. your salary, your car number plate, your house number, information and address. If you are married, the information will be given. If you have children, all that information will be given. If you have properties, all that properties will be captured. Your blood sample will be captured. Your blood group will be captured. Every single information about your right. fingerprint, your facial recognition, mm. everything about you is captured in the data system. So once I key one particular thing about you, if I key your date of birth, it will bring those who were born on that day. And your name will pop, will pop up. If I key your name, <laughs> your salary, I know. So, if your salary is thousand Ghana cities a month, then you drive a car of ten thousand dollars. How did you get that? The information will show where you oh, got the okay. money. Okay. So we co corrupt. So that's the main idea. Okay, I'm getting your yes. point. So the, yes, so okay. all this information, corruption, okay. wastage of government resources, mm -hmm. ghost names, uh, information about you will now have a perfect. Mm -hmm of the country called Ghana and the citizens in Ghana. in Ghana so if you travel from here to Bolga mm. if you use your car to do anything or you use your, the moment we key in the system we know where you are the information will show you you're on the way to Bolga everything about you will show now this gives me the opportunity to go to the first fourth policy a national development plan a national development, development plan. plan. So with this information, mm. now I'm building the structures. I'm okay. building Ghana using the data and the information I have. Okay. So if I want to train 200 doctors, that in the system is showing that we have less than 100 doctors, and per our plan, we want to build more hospitals. Mm. So we are recruiting doctors and training doctors to fit into the society mm. per our plan we have realized that in boku there's no hospital it's only one in nalirugu it's only one in gambaga there's no hospital in uh, napanduri all those places in why in that hospital the system will show that these places need hospitals okay. so we start building the plan which becomes a national development plan we start mm. building the future of this country mm. and our students we will know how many students are graduating? Okay. Because the information will show you that. In Legon, we have 200 students who are graduating as doctors. Mm. We have 300 students who are gradu graduating as, uh, let's say, engineers. Okay. Now, we will begin now to know that what we are building, 
Every student that come out of school is not going to be redundant. It's not going to be unemployed. So we are now building the system to know that by the time you finish school, mm. third year, we are giving you a job opportunity. Why would that job opportunity? That is what we are building. The National Development Plan is telling us that okay. we need to have uh, secondaries, uh, we need to have hospitals, okay. we need to have uh, factories. They'll begin, we need to produce what we, production, we need to manufacture, we need to industrialize. So our country has deficit in A, B, C, and D. Mm. And if we have deficit in A, B, C, now let's train the students and the graduates to fit into this society we want to build okay the businesses we want to build the industries we want to build the production we want to do manufacturing so we are not training students to come out and become unemployed no okay we are training them to put them into the job centers mm. wow and every year we're going to have a quota for every is this time where we have job for the boys yeah. The police security job for yeah. the boys. Yeah. The national security job for the boys will be the thing of the past. Because every secondary school or university will get a quota to train them into the military. So if you want to be a military officer, the school Why gets... Why you the university you, you choose? You choose. I want to be a military officer. I want to be a doctor, uh, a custom officer. I want to be immigration. I want to be national security. So there will be no need for SAR campaign for six months training. Dabi, 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 dabi. From the school, third year, before you get to four year, we already know where you are going. Oh, okay. What? Okay. Because we are planning. Mm. Yeah, yeah, plan. Yeah, me, we're not training students to come and be a burden. We're not doing the national training of reading and passing exams and have no jobs. Mm. So we move on. From the national database, we now have, and the national development plan, plan, we now have a production hub. Then we come to lockdown. I'm going to lock down Ghana for you one year. Lock down Ghana for, for one, one year. year. Economic lockdown. How are you doing it? Uh -huh. You know, we spend over $1.2 billion importing rice every year. Okay. We import $700 million of oil. For rice farming, we can do it in so many regions in this country. Agreed. So, certain groups of people will now begin to go into commercial farming. Even as students, you train, you have to become commercial farmers. We're not training people just because we want them to write exams and pass. Mm. The Nkrumah style of education is no more under my leadership. I'm changing the curriculum of education to train my students to fit into my country's problems and solutions. Okay. So we spend so much in oil, uh, food production. Mm. So now we have to produce our own. We spend over $700 million oil. And we can do oil in this country. We can produce oil with coconut, with granite. Your with soya bean, uh, with um, flour, with uh, cacao, uh, this uh, uh, what do you call our cocoa? So many ways with share butter, so many ways of doing oil. So we now begin to produce oil in our country. We spend five hundred and eighty million dollars importing fresh tomatoes and canned tomatoes. Production hub. Ghana is now going to be the lockdown is to make us a productive nation. Okay. And so become within within one year, no. Yeah, import shade. Dabi dabi. We are not importing rice. We are not importing. We have tomatoes. to change. We have to change our consumption pattern. Chicken. No, we have. We can do that. Da kuku Fish. Kuku. Dabi. It will be pretty. Look, when you don't work, then you don't see the importance of anything. Okay. You see that time is too much. Mm. When you work. Four years is enough to rule Ghana and move away. Dog. Me, me buy a one term president. Oh, person, you one term president. One term. Me pay two term. I am not interested in it. It's waste of my time. Me pay. But when you build all the systems and your baby baby do what you know, doesn't continue. It will continue because I'm building institutions stronger than men. I've not finished the policies. I was just mm, continuing. Okay. <laughs> Ma, you see, you see where I'm coming from. Yeah. This is a plan. What we see, mm. it is not somebody shouting 24 hour. The 24 hour economy will come when I get to number 30. 
I'm still wow. moving. Okay. That is when the 24 hour will come automatically. Mm. Mm. Because when we begin to produce and manufacture and industrialize, we are going to now work more than we sleep. Okay. We'll do 16 hours of work and sleep 8 hours. Okay. But now we sleep 16 hours and work 8, eight hours. hours. So that is when the shift system will come. Those who will be working in the morning. Mm -hmm. So we divide Ghana into three grouping. Group one will start from 6 to 2, 2 to, eight, two to uh, 10, 10 back to 6. That's a 24-hour cycle. So 24-hour economy. But it's the same as 24-hour economy. That's, that's what I'm saying. That it's a 24-hour cycle. Three-shift system. Okay. So you are dividing the workforce into so three groups. So your 24-hour economy will come when the production hub yes. starts operating. Operating. And, the and when you have locked down, locked down and start Ghana for yes. one year. Yes. Then you okay. see that everything becomes... So 24-hour economy it's cannot not just jump, jump and come. No, 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 Rabbi. Okay. You, you, are, you are building <laughs> the house from the rooftop. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Matthias, yeah. Why would say? Yeah. So I'm building the house from the rooftop. Mm. It's a good policy. It's in my manifesto, 2020 manifesto. And I know what I'm talking about. The 24-hour okay. so economy for production and, and workers and uh, uh, companies. Mm. So you will start using it. And digitalization is already in the system. That's mm. e-governance. Okay. You don't need that one. That one is already existing. So mm. nobody should be shouting uh, e-governance, e uh, digitalization, digital. So you have a lockdown. Okay. So yeah, we are locked down. No? We are then now going to become an industrial hub in the world. Our okay. city will now gain power. We will now produce our own oil. Refine our own oil. Yeah, crude oil but what do we do we send the crude out and then they refine the crude into oil then they bring it back to sell to us why do sir which country does that that okita joining oh yeah farmer mm. oh you when you go and farm rice oil tomatoes all the things you need you roll your chicken and good oh mm. okotoma restaurant owner not restaurant owner no, talk from you. No, no, no. Now, no, no, why you be be aware, Johnny? Now you are going back to go and buy the food and eat. Hmm. When you have the raw. Thank you. Stuff. Thank you. Yourself. Yes. Oh mm. yeah. Now, cut Johnny. No. So why now? You why? Why now? Why now? It's because the Bible says, "Lack of vision, my people what perish." perish. Wow. So it is not like. NDC, their platform have the leadership of MPP. No, mm. don't don't waste your time looking for leadership from NDC and MPP. They are businessmen who are to make profit. So for them, NDC, NPP, yes, they are not political parties. No, they are business they platforms. They are business platforms to make profit. To make profit. Finish. Okay. And if we don't change and we keep recycling them, it's going to become worse. Look, me, me do here. If Hassan Ayaka doesn't win this election, if my mean the election way, and John Muhammad D, he will suffer more than Akufado. Why? He become the worst president again. Because the almost say Ghana. Almost say no double. Akufado has said Ghana. So John G, mm. oh, he will suffer. Why will John Muhammad suffer and Good. you will not suffer? Thank you. Now let me tell you the reason. John Muhammad has been president before. Mm. There's nothing new that John Mama will say and people will agree. Businessmen and the international society and the policies they have mm. cannot change our economy. The policy of the NDC cannot change our economy. The leadership of NDC cannot change our economy. Then no business entity or society in the world mm. is coming to invest if John Mama becomes president. They have, seen it, they have seen it before. So they are not, it's not a new thing for them. Now, okay. if Hassan Ayaga becomes president in 2024, mm -hmm. most of stakeholders outside, international organizations, businessmen, are now beginning to say there is a new leader who has come with a new vision, new policies. Let's support him. Okay. So whatever I'm doing, mm -hmm. the policy I'm bringing, a lot of people will buy into because it's a new leadership. It's not a recycle of an old leadership. Okay. So they will be ready to invest in my country. Because I am not willing 
But you say you are going I'm to not be willing to invest in a, yes, I'm not willing to invest in anybody's country. I am investing in my country to become a production hub, a manufacturing hub, and an industrial hub. Okay. The world becomes this the countries in the world that are strong have something to offer the world. Okay. Bill Gates has something to offer the world. Um Zuckerberg Zucker, have something to offer to the world. All these men who have made the world change offered something in return for something. What is Ghana offering to the world to make Ghana a superpower? Okay. Yeah, yeah, we, we, all, we are only borrowing mm. and begging. We have given all our resources to the foreigners. Our oil, our foreigners. Our gold, okay. under the foreigners. Our timber, and the foreigners, cuckoo, omuna mm. money, banking, omuna money. Tell me one sector of the economy that is being managed by a Ghanaian. If not even the flagstaff house. Ah. Not even the flagstaff house. Flagstaff house, and Nanado never. Nanado Tina is one managing Nanado. The same white. They ah. turn him like a, ro a remote control. Only because you don't understand no, the dynamics of. The the uh, if Manado was managing himself, uh -huh. we would not be where we are as a nation. <laughs> so the white is managing. <laughs> of course, in the jubilee house. In the jubilee house, there's a machine behind the power. <laughs> so he sits down there and they direct him, don't sign LGBT. <laughs> Are they? Mm. We are a country of laws, country of tradition and norms, culture. Don't sign LGBT. Nanado is sitting down with it and he's not signing. <laughs> so now you understand me. Mm. If you sign, we will not give you loans. We will not support your country. You cannot, we cannot do it. So you see, practically, you don't understand it. Okay, you are behind the microphone. But technically, there are certain things that you don't see. But we as politicians who understand the system and know that as a leader at this time you should be doing this and you are not doing this, a reason. And I know. Okay. You will not understand, but I know. Because I don't sit behind the microphone. What you sit behind the microphone and do, I don't do. I don't know it. <laughs> so you are your boss in your space. Yes. I'm my boss in, in my your space. Thank you. <laughs> So in my okay. space, me a boss. In your space, we a boss. But me, they are not me name the only name. They are not me name the only name. Why are they not me name the only name? So my who, that this country, mm. it's all African countries are manipulated and managed by the Western world. Is there a problem with Ghana's constitution? It's a problem with the leadership of the people of Ghana who do not understand power, the importance of power and what you can be. Nobody respects a beggar. Okay. And that is why the, the the Europeans, the Americans, cannot tell Arabs accept LGBT. Mm. Because when they go to Arabia, Saudi Arabia, they are even giving money. They are giving them loans to go ahead and support their country. But Saudi Arabia, the king of Saudi Arabia, was once a poor man before he became a rich country. Mm. I met with him once and he told me he went to Nigeria. Obasanjo. To borrow money from Obasanjo to build uh, Dubai. And Obasanjo told him that in your country there is sand. What am I going to yeah, do with sand? 25.1. Sessi na wakasono. Also, Obasanjo told me that, look, what am I going to do with sand? If I borrow the money, how am I going to get it back? I didn't know Obasanjo. Today, compare Dubai to the whole of Africa. Now, Yerosika, everybody say, I'm flying to Dubai. I'm flying to Dubai. I'm going for holidays. We are practically destroying our country against building the city of Dubai. Okay. Because we are running there with our, our money. money. And there, it's not difficult to get a visa in Dubai. Mm. But you pay $150, you get it. They know that when you come to their country, the minimum you spend is $3,000. So they are having more than 5 to $10 million visitors in a month and everybody spending less than hundred to two thousand dollars make their country rich because they have built something that attracts you okay tourism they put their their their, their house in order mm. to make you come to them we we don't know how to put our house in order when we are so rich oil cuckoo mm. timber bauxite minerals human resource Natural resource. 
But what have we done? We've destroyed the human resource. Now, nobody, no, we are not training anybody. Those who have been trained come and they become zero. So, practically, your human resources are set. There's no future in our human resource. The citizens. The okay. citizens have no future. That's the human resource. And that is breaking down gradually. And when that begins to break down, mm. you have a big problem. There will be revol revolution very soon. People will start fighting each other. People will go to the street and demonstrate. It will come to a time that politicians will be chased out of this country. I'm not mm. saying it. But that is the way. Because they are fed up of the leadership of political power. Mm. Okay. Wow. So, APC, who were parliamentary candidates? Yeah, were well, parliamentary candidates. all the 275 No, 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 no. no. You're, you're fat 275. Yeah, for 275. We have, say. If we have selected a part, some parliamentary candidates uh, who say a better minty. For now, I can promise you that in 2024, after the election, APC will have parliamentarians in, 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 in parliament. In the parliament. Yes. First of all, me, me, Friboku. Okay. Me, Okusasini. Me, six constituencies, no, na Boku, no. Because. Cecilia, you were three presidential candidates in Ghana. Cecilia, NDC president, former president Mahama, Mahama. MPP, Dr. Baumia, Dr. Mahmoudou Baumia, then Hassan Erga of the APC. These are the three parties that have picked their parliamentary candidates and supervised by the Electoral Commission. Mm. So for now, the Electoral Commission has three candidates, not more. So when people say they are doing survey, they are doing this, they are doing this, and they bring people and come and do survey, they don't ask anybody. We are looking at them. So these three candidates, what would say you are free enough? Yeah. So and we, from the north, the young free one region, a free different regions. Baumia free enough east. Man push for. I dare no ya or move the vote to Madame Baumia hundred percent. Because people know there are some kind of people who believe in themselves. They believe that they are better than any other person. Mm, okay. So they, they will not allow anybody from them to vote against Baumia. Okay. You will see a man priest man who say on the street here begging, pushing troco, doing a, what do you call it? Um, scraps struggling to feed, and he's wearing Baumia t shirt. <laughs> <laughs> he's wearing Baumia t shirt. You see a Kayoyo <laughs> with a head pan, he's wearing Baumia's t shirt. You see a security man who finds it very difficult to survive on the street of Accra. But he's wearing Baumia t-shirt. Baumia t -shirt. They believe in themselves. They believe in the So as for Mount Prusi, you know they that will vote for Baumia. Vote Baumia. Okay. Now the Kusasis, mm -hmm. they also have their candidate. Okay. Hassan Erga. Okay. Are they going to sit down and say, look, mm -hmm. our house this time around, we are not going to... Ma we are not going to Hassan Erga. We are not going to Baumia. And I am not John Mama. That one, you don't believe it. They won't, they should, they won't even try it. Okay. They won't do it. Uh, what is so they do have to copy the leadership of what is happening in the Mampusi and do their own to they to they believe in themselves. So how many percentage are never, you expecting? Never they believe in themselves. And now know that it is time for them to vote for their own. Okay. They cannot say it's not a tribal politics. Mm -hmm. But if you say it's a tribal politics. I was about to ask yes, you. Yes, it's not a tribal like politics. You are preaching tribal I am politics. not preaching tribal politics. When you go to Ashanti region. 90% of the Ashantis vote MPP. 90% mm. mm. of Ashantis, they don't vote any party. And that is why their stronghold is called what? The MPP stronghold is called what? Ashanti. Ashanti. What do you think it is? Is it a tribal politics or is not? If you go to the Volta region, 90% of the Voltarians vote for NDC. Mm. What do you think it is? If you know the tribal okay. politics then now, now, politics. now you go, ma, no, it's not tribal politics. So, if you also go to the upper east, 90% mm -hmm. should also vote for the APC. Okay, it's not tribal politics, All it's right. a stronghold. 
This is where I'm coming. Mm. It's my stronghold. Are you getting what I'm saying? So 90% too must vote. Mm -hmm. So in that region where we have six, seven, six constituencies that belong to the Kosa kingdom, Mm. must be willing and ready to give that six constituencies to APC. Okay. Because that is also their stronghold. If they don't do that, what do you think people will see them as? Okay. Why were they in the I get your point. So three candidates now. John Mahama is coming from the Gonja land. Do you think the Gonjas would see their own and go vote Hassan Erga and say, we love Hassan Erga? No. They will love Hassan Erga. They are happy with Hassan Erga. They do everything with Hassan Erga, But they will not vote Hassan Erga 100% in the Gonja land. 90% of the Gonjas will vote President John Dramani Mahama. Whether you like it or not, it will happen. So if we all are going to win our regions, then APC should have parliamentarians. In 2025? In 2025. Okay. One who analysis now. Yeah. Then we now go into the other regions and we all now scout. You go and go You go <laughs> wherever you go and get, go and get. Okay. Now at that region, that level, is no more a stronghold. It's about the policies and the credibility okay. and the trust. But l- fine enough, Cecilia, NDC Kita almost six million voters. Yeah. Stronghold. Yeah. MPP Kita the same six million. But seven million B or ho, they are not voting either for NDC, non no MPP. MPP. They said that they don't believe in NDC and they don't believe in NDC MPP. MPP. So they are not voting. On the bench, in their homes, their comfortable zone. They do not want to vote because they don't see leadership in NDC or leadership in, in MPP. MPP. So they have decided that that is the third force. That is where you are looking at. Thank you. That is the third force. There is no third force in Ghana. You can be third position, but it's not a force. Okay. There's different. Let people not confuse themselves becoming third in a position and becoming a third force. Maybe I would explain mm. to you to understand. <laughs> Why are you trying to say, say, because Gum was third? No, it's Go- not a third force. No, no, it's not a third force. It's not a third t- t- uh, third force. You cannot be third force with less than one percent. Force no way. Okay. It doesn't make sense. Oh, do you understand what I'm saying? You can when they talk about third force, somebody at the edge or verge of winning an election okay. with, with a huge force of possibly becoming. The next president. Okay. But when you run into the third position and you have less than one percent, you are not a third force. Okay. You can't win. Even if the NDC and MPP sleep again and sleep and sleep and sleep, you you're not going anywhere. <laughs> because you are okay less than one percent and they and they have fifty plus forty nine plus. Mm. So you cannot be saying you are a third force. So the third force is the seven million Ghanaians who have refused to vote. And when they constitute a party or follow behind a particular leader, it becomes a third force. Okay. What here? I hope I hope I Matthew hope, I say. Uh, we have macro for me, me for me, politician. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. and then, and then, me mau, me mau, Oh, mami, jis, I was politics. Yes. Anyway. So, you uh, are today, you have a lot to talk about. Wow. <laughs> 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 okay. Omoba, try one day to know a leader in Gelsen. Me, me, kit, me, tena, say, ah, why would you say me, kita, paper? Mm-hmm. My, be, me, phone. David. But policies, no, me, yede. Oh, team. I'm a team one by one, me, you know, one by one. That is a leader who knows how to lead this country. But me ba hano. Ubisa me. Me bisa what are you going to ask me? Me bisa synopsis. Or my natural no, no, organizer. No. I Did was ask just me? asking my questions. And we're going. Yeah. Have I filled you in any question? Mm. But before you can sit down with John Mahama or Baumia to have this kind of conversation, their team will come to you. Hey. Where is, what are the questions hey, you want to ask? Young Koyo, who? Young who are there, baby sir? Where they? Where they pay who? Where they pay who? Where they pay who? So that your man no name are there, no better man answer. They cannot answer. That's why they find it very difficult to have free speech. Okay. If they are, and that is why when Baumia was given the opportunity to sell himself, 
He was dancing like a DJ in a nightclub. Ah? Now who? Yeah, he, he was he like oh. this, dancing like a DJ in a nightclub. Was he dancing? What was he doing? They've given you the biggest platform in the history of Ghana to sell yourself and build and tell Ghanaians what you want to do. And you come and say they shouldn't blame you. They should blame your your boss because you were driver's meat. Now we are meat. And we, if two of you feel, we'll change the whole uh, driver and the meat. Okay. There's no way we can change the driver and leave the meat. All right. Uh, wow. Me, me will sell policies, you know. One, two, three, four, five. You can five. Yeah, but who pay you? Your time and also. It's me, but say you you Ghana for who baby? I mean, you drew ye. Yeah. So the next time when you come, you are just continuing. Yes. And see, you drew a production hub. Yes, and manufacturing. And manufacturing. And industrialization. Yeah. Now you call lockdown. Yeah, call lockdown. 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 Yeah, can. Yes. So it's a continuous. National data. Yes, national data. National development. Yes. Yeah, can one year lockdown. Yes. And yeah, can production hub. Now mindset, the change of mindset, the most important thing. That it's is the even more important than all the policies. Okay. Because if we don't change our mindset, you know, in 1979, okay. Ghanaians believed in J.J. Rollins and his leadership. J.J. Rollins, Pierre, mm. all the youth of this country wanted to vote okay. because they believed in him and they followed him. Mm. They had a mindset that this man better change Ghana. Mm. So they followed him with all their support. Mm. Rollins had the best opportunity to rule this Ghana than any other person. They followed him at the farm. He was doing all the tractors, the distance. They were building this country. Today, we need a leader like Hassan Elga who can pull this crowd, change the mindset of Ghanaians okay. to believe that this is what we are going to do now. So everybody, you can call Hassan Elga. And that mindset, if they fully change that mindset, after one year, this country will change. <laughs> My producer is very sharp. Wow. Yes. <laughs> because this is the person we would need a savior. Okay. Hope. There's no hope in this country Without anymore. Messiah. We need a savior and a Messiah. Okay. Because people have lost hope. And the only hope is Hassan Erga. Right. Ghana's hope is Hassan Erga. Mm. Wow. Okay. So right. with that mindset, no, they will not believe that this is a leader that has come. Let's all follow him. So the 7 million Ghanaians who now begin to think about supporting Hassan Aga, I am coming for f four years. Okay. And after four years, I will put the institutions in place. And anybody who becomes president becomes a ceremonial president. Because now, ba, Juma. But now, mm. nothing is working. Wangu mm. got this. In Sium Tok, in Sium Tok, Ghana, here in Nyebeku, Akoko. Within one hour, the whole country will be flooded. And it's been happening. What kind of leadership do we have that cannot make changes? That our gutters and our streets, the most dirtiest city in Ghana is Africa. In Africa is Ghana. The most dirtiest city in Africa is Ghana. Kongu gutters. Upia Kongu gutters. This is the city of Ghana, the main city of Ghana. Look at our roads. Look at our, 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 our streets. Huh? Look at the communities around us. That the citizens of Ghana, the Ghanaian citizens do not even the best communities to live. You go to East Legon, most Ghanaians are not. You go to Northridge, white. You go to uh, Rich, white. You go to Mamobi, all of us are there. You go to Nima, all of us are there. Mm -hmm. What can we do to change Nima and make it a first hub country? I will transform Nima into a first class environment. Okay. By building high rise building and giving every particular home an apartment. So if we come and take, let's say, 50 houses and we build one, everybody gets an apartment and then you lose those properties, the land, and we continue to build other communities. It's very easy for us to change the environment. Okay. Why do we say there's no job, there's no job, there's no job when we are not doing anything? How can you say there's no job when you are not working? Okay. <laughs> we have another time. Yes. And we'll continue from uh, the fifth policy. So, over yeah. mommy, one minute. Okay. Well, oh, yes, I'll do that. Yes. And see, uh, the next meeting, you know, uh, your name Dr. Hassan, you say you have a real production hub, you know? So, we'll continue from the sixth policy. Uh, because we have 60 policies, right? Yes. 60. 60. Yes. So, and then you have five. 
The next time we are able to do five, gradually, we will be carrying baby. By the All time right. we finish, ma, you will see where Ghana exactly. is. Exactly, I get the points. Yeah. So one minute, everyone. One minute. Let me say, fellow Ghanaians. <laughs> My president sees it all the time. Yeah. Let, me, let me use my 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 president word, fellow Ghanaians. Ya do be be a Nayam who say. Ya who the best leadership of the NDC. Ya mm. who the best leadership of the NPP. Cecilia Omosu Omoba. Omoma, they are best. But Ghanaians are crying. Omosu. Omosu, me vote. Me voting in 2024. May they may in 20. I hear that every day, every minute. That you're calling that you will not vote. I stand here to tell you this. If you refuse to vote, you are refusing the new development that we want to build. Mm. The Ghana that we want. The nation that we must all calibrate and build. Hassan Ayerga is the future of Ghana and you. You are the part you are part of the future for us to change Ghana. So I am saying come on board, support Hassan Erga, be part of that change that the, the, the country needs today, that we can all work together to build a country. Okay. And I stand here today. APC is the choice, Hassan Erga is the key, and a change is a new change is a key to new life. So Yem Bo has an area in 2024. Become a volunteer wherever you are. Campaign for Hassan Erga. Mm. Endorse Hassan Erga. Make APC your party. Okay. You don't need me to be there before you become a member. Okay. You are already a member as a member of APC when right. you make that intention. Make that Thank you very much. Dr. Hassan Yarga, a uh, yeah, flag bearer for uh, APC. Uh, and I uh, didn't know Edin Komono. The next meeting or the next conversation, we are going to start from policy six. And I uh, yeah, they will add to us. Onuya, 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 95.1 FM. 95.1 FM. Yeah,